Welcome back. Okay. So, looking through this, this whole sub-assembly build setup is not going to work. Because there are sections that have to be built for the sub-assemblies to be built. So, we're just going to go ahead and build back, go back and build in order. But we already did the uh, mortar itself, the actual cannon and its housing. So that's done. But next we're going to just go ahead and go from one, go right on through. Today we're going to be doing the carriage assembly. So this would be the rail line carriages. Um, not too, not too difficult. So, yep. We're just going to jump on this. Looks like we got some shims for HO scale, which is what we're going to end up doing because we don't have the track that goes with this. So, uh, yeah, hold tight and we're going to get moving. Okay, here we go. We have, oops, knocked it off. We have the uh, carriage, the rail carriage is all finished up. Now, these brake lines, I'll have to uh, heat those up and you know I'll use a lighter, heat them up and actually droop them into shape later. The option, the steel plates have an option of being down or being horizontal the way I've put them. And since I plan on building this up as it's uh, unlimbering, so it's ready to fire, I decided to go ahead and put those in the up position because they act as gantry as walkways. So, and they roll and not that that's gonna make much difference because it'll be glued to the track when it's done. But here we go. So, there's the rail section of the tank, or of the uh, loader. So, those are set, and then we've got the uh, cannon. Next up will be the support arm assemblies. So, I'll be building those next time around. And the support arms then get, oh, and then we'll build the, uh, the gantry for the, uh, the actual, we'll be building the track assembly for the mortar. So, that's all for today. Um, as always, I hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe. Um, I appreciate it. And uh, until next time, keep on building. Have a great day.